responsibility today, really. Yeah. Sam Donaldson, thanks so much for, for sharing your personal reflections of him. It makes a real difference. Okay, Jim. It's really great to have that perspective. Uh, also joining us now, CNN medical analyst, Dr. Jonathan Reiner. Uh, so, Dr. Reiner, uh, we learned from Colin Powell's family in their statement that he was uh, fully vaccinated but had died from complications of COVID-19. We've now learned that he had multiple myeloma, according mm. to a source familiar with the matter. So this is a cancer of the plasma cells. It mm. can really suppress your immune system. And I think that's really right. important to put this all in context, Dr. Reiner. Right, so multiple myeloma uh, is a disease that itself suppresses the immune system, but it's also important to understand that the treatment for multiple myeloma, which patients often take every day, uh, itself uh, can suppress uh, the immune system. So uh, General Powell uh, represented our most vulnerable population in this country. Mm. He was over the age of 80, he had cancer, and the treatment for his cancer made him vulnerable. So when we try and convince young people who feel that they are low risk from the virus itself, why they need to be vaccinated is to protect our treasures, our people mm. like General Powell, our grandparents. Yeah. Because while you know a 25 year old may do quite well uh, after uh, with the infection, if they spread it to someone like General Powell, uh, they will not. Yeah. And, and that is the imperative for vaccination in this country. Um, my father had the same condition, and the thing is, of course, it makes you more vulnerable, and you end up dying from the infection, sadly. Uh, I, the sad fact is it is already being used, mm -hmm. yet again, uh, as disinformation, right, against the vaccine. Sadly, I won't repeat it, but it is already being used. So for folks who hear this, uh, what do you say to those people? What do you say to those people who say, well, wait a second, why should I get vaccinated? Well, because vaccines, vaccines do work. Yeah. And... Uh, in fact, for our most vulnerable, a, a boost uh, dramatically lowers the risk of, of such a terrible outcome. And, and what, what the Israelis found this summer was that as the vaccine's efficacy waned, the risk was greatest for reinfection and severe illness in exactly General Powell's demographic. And that by boosting that demographic, they could reduce the risk of serious illness or death by 90% with the boost. Mm. So what I would say to the people that would that would use this as disinformation is that they're just simply wrong. They need to get their facts uh, straight. Mm. And the numbers too, Jim pointed this out earlier, but it is important to put this in context. One out of every 26,000 fully vaccinated people have died of COVID-19. Thanks to Jim's math, we can tell you that's 0.004%. Right. Dr. Reiner, always appreciate it. Thank right. you. My pleasure, thank you. Uh, new this morning, a bipartisan group of lawmakers accusing Amazon executives of either misleading